and welcome back. It's a new season, as you can tell, all my lights are back on. No more daylight for filming. Not in the UK, really. Not for most of the day, anyway. It's been really overcast today. The central heating is on, and we've definitely got a nip in the air. We are right in the middle of autumn here. We've gone straight through the seasons, and it's feeling a little bit wintry. I'm not going to lie. So it's time to do a countdown of the Fab Four High Street Skin Heroes that have really grabbed my attention recently. There is the reworking and the rebranding of an absolute cult classic, a totally new brand to me, the relaunch of a brand that I've used for the better part on and off of 20 years, and then there's a supermarket stroke grocery store dupe range. Where shall I start? I shall start by saying this video is partly sponsored by Nip and Fab, and what's really interesting is I have a code, which is a great thing to have because I always ask for it if I'm working with a brand. But also, have you noticed that Nip and Fab has had a makeover? Look at this. <laughs> if any of you have said to me recently, I can't find my beloved Glycolic Fix body scrub and body cream. Well, this is why it's had a makeover and I'm loving, I'm absolutely loving the makeover of Nip and Fab. This might be why you've missed it on counter recently. It's gone away and it's had a makeover and I'm loving the packaging, I really am. It's really clearly marked as to what range you're buying. And when they said to me, do you want to work with us and do you want to code? I said, of course I'd love, absolutely love code. I should put the code in here for 10% off the entire Nip and Fab UK site, which is brilliant. They said, what range do you want to speak about? And I said, well, it was a toss up between glycolic and retinol, but I wanted to talk about the retinol renew range because I think probably this is the perfect time to start a retinol routine. What I love about these products is, and they've been really transparent to me about percentages, you can layer them up, you can introduce as much as you want. There are lots of products within the range, but I'm gonna focus on three or four key hero products within the range. Where do we start? Well, I think there are two particular hero products in the range, and they're very, very, very interesting and very different. So I'm going to introduce you to the Nip and Fab Renew Retinol Fix Serum, which is actually I would say a balm. <laughs> and then the Nip and Fab Renew Retinol Fix Booster, which is a serum. <laughs> this is really interesting. Let me show you the textures and explain why. These are the two most powerful products in the range. They're both 0.3% retinol, that sweet spot. Maximum um, sort of delivery of a percentage of an active ingredient that can be irritating, but without the irritation. So let me show you why I think that the serum is a Balm, it's beautifully rich and hydrating. It's actually quite thick. And I think a lot of people are really gonna like this if they've got dry skin in winter and they feel that maybe they need that little extra step above and beyond a serum. So it's a serum with a difference. That is 0.3% retinol, aloe vera and peptides. So it's a powerful combination. Let me show you the booster. The booster is my dream serum. You know what I love. Here we go. So this is a much more traditional sort of watery, lightweight, super hydrating serum. This is aloe vera and 0.3% retinol. They're both really lovely products. They both pack a punch of retinol, but whichever one you choose, it's up to your skin type. What I know is that neither of them cause any irritation even for first time retinol users. You could technically layer one under the other, but I think that one's probably better suited for drier skins and that one's better suited for normal to slightly oilier skins. What Nip and Fab are doing is they're creating an entire range to give you the options to layer up as and when you please, which I really, really like. There's also a retinol eye treatment. And the reason I mention this is because I can put both of those up around my eyes, particularly the booster, because it's super lightweight. That one might actually be slightly too rich around my eyes, but it's not the retinol that is a problem because I'm used to using retinol right up around my eyes. But if you haven't used a retinol before, go carefully. Go for a 0.1%, which is what the eye product is. Let me show you it. It's really lovely. It's super lightweight. It's a lovely lightweight gel cream. It's got really soothing ingredients in it. It's absolutely loaded with super lightweight butters and oils, but you would never know. It's so gorgeous. It could be used right up around the eye and here like this. And that's 0.1%. So you're in an absolutely safe spot if you've never used retinol up around your eyes. As you get used to it, you can actually take the booster 
slightly further and further up. It's super lightweight. This one is really hydrating. It almost forms a sort of coating over the skin that traps all of the humectants and the water into the skin. If you've got a dry skin and you want to use a retinol, you are going to love that. That's the serum one. That's this one here. Go on counter and have a look at the entire range because they've got a whole host of other products here. I mean, look, they've got retinol fixed sheet masks, which I really love in case you're looking out for them. And they've even got a retinol fix tonic extreme, which is sort of like a lotion. So what you're in charge of is you're in charge of layering up the key active ingredient within skincare that boosts skin cell turnover, regulates the production of collagen along with the peptides, which really help within this range and also um, regulates the production of melanin within the skin. I, I described it the other day as sort of being like a cheerleader of your skin. It's sort of, come on, work harder, work harder, work harder, especially at this time of year when skin can become sluggish. And all of these work while you sleep. There's also a really lovely night cream. Now, what's interesting about the night cream is, again, it's a 0.1% retinol with hyaluronic acid and matrixyl peptides. So they're all really, really well formulated balance of peptides something super hydrating plus you've got the active ingredient of retinol in so they're sort of single steps but i feel like you could layer them up i'm going to finish by actually showing you i think the spf you should be using afterwards look at this great packaging so here is the nip and fab renew anti-redness spf and i just think it's lovely it obviously sits within the retinol range because it's got a purple top it's loaded with niacinamide, which is why it's really interesting, because niacinamide is vitamin B3, and it's known to protect and renew the skin barrier function, which can be disrupted if you're new to retinol. So it makes complete sense. There are other, can I just say, SPFs within the range. Look at the Nip and Fab Hydrate Nourishing SPF 30. They're all really, really nice. There's also an anti-pollution SPF 30 as well. Go and check out Nip Fab, it's really interesting. And don't forget to use the code Nadine10 for 10% off of the entire nipandfab.com. Now, let's move on to a range completely new to me. I have never seen it before. Have you? And that is Bloom and Halo. Now, the reason it caught my attention is it's a mix of products. They sent me some products. But what's interesting about them is this is the one I love. This is the Hyaluronic Acid and Pure Vitamin C Booster. And it's four 2.5 mil syringes that you can add to anything in particular. I love anything rem remotely sort of medical looking. But what's interesting about this is they're completely contained. It's hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, and you can add it either directly to your skin or you can add it to your daily moisturizer or serum. And I think that's a really interesting product. They're really reasonably priced. This is the Skin Shot Serum. They've got a supercharged mixed mask, which is um, a hyaluronic acid and powder face mask which you mix as well and I just think I quite like this idea of sort of playing chemist to your own skin so what you've got is you've got here you've got the the mix mask hyaluronic acid liquid base and then you've got the powder that you mix in and a little mixing sort of spatula that you mix and then apply and I think that's actually just quite fun what it is is you're creating a sort of routine stroke your own facial at home, but with active ingredients proven to work. Have any of you tried and Bloom and Halo? What do you think of it? I really like that idea. There's a micro exfoliant stick AHA exfoliating polish, which I think is really interesting as well. So it looks a little bit like this. I just think they're really interesting, disruptive products. I really do. So what you've got is you open it up and you've got a mini sort of wipe over your skin facial stick with alpha hydroxy acids in. Really, really interesting. Now what's interesting in them is the headquarters is listed on the side as being UK, but they're made in Korea. So you've got that sort of really interesting disruptive idea of mix and matching your own products. You know when you go and have a facial and somebody's sort of behind you mixing things up and you're sort of looking over your shoulder under your mask thinking what's going on there? That's all of that technology here, and I quite like that. If you're thinking about investing in a range that is high on actives, but delivered in a new way that sort of is disruptive and you can mix your own products, then you're really gonna like Bloom and Halo. I think it's really exciting, I really do. And then they've got some I Need You Hyaluronic Retinol and Collagen Hydrogel eye patches, which are much more traditional. That is Bloom and Halo. I'm gonna put the details of all the products down below so you'll know where to find them but I think it's disruptive and new and I like it. 
Now, on Instagram, I mentioned the fact that Rock is back in the UK. Rock was traditionally a Parisian brand. Then it was bought by Johnson & Johnson and they sort of forgot about it for a little while and focused on Neutrogena, but it's back. They were the first people ever to speak to us about retinol and it was the Retinol Correction Cream Nuit. And let me show you what it looks like. It's that gold standard, what I call toothpaste packaging. So it's that sort of aluminium packaging that you push down and squeeze out because it's airtight and watertight as well. And it doesn't bounce back the packaging, you sort of twist it and turn it as well. And that was the first retinol I ever used. They're now, this is really interesting. They're not talking about percentages. The other day I was invited to a rock pop-up actually in town and I met, well, I didn't meet him, but I saw that there was an R&D man there called Re Research, Research and Development called Art Pellegrino and I thought, I know that man. He used to work at Elizabeth Arden and he worked on a lot of the Provage products and a lot of the capsules. You know, the sort of Arden capsules, the ceramide ones and the retinol ones and things like that. And so I went to meet him because I thought if he's working with Rock, because Rock has now been sold by Johnson & Johnson and is now owned by a capital investment company, they're going to develop interesting products. And I was right, because he's a really interesting man. Now, he's not talking about percentages. They want to keep the percentages secret, but I imagine the Rock Retinol products are sitting at around 0.3%, 0.1 to 0.3%. That was the original product that I first used, and I think that's sitting at 0.3%, but they're not telling me, so I genuinely can't tell. But they've got lots of interesting products within the range. They've got the Rock Wrinkle Correct Serum as well. Here's the original cream that everybody was addicted to back in the day when it was the only retinol on the market, let's be honest here. And I think they've also got a really powerful vitamin C range as well. And that goes right the way through from serums, right the way through to cleansers and stuff like that. And between you and I, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be talking about it this quickly, they've got a hyaluronic acid range coming out. And that's interesting to me because they're based in dermatological principles of skincare and they're focusing on vitamin C, vitamin A and hyaluronic acid. So to me, that makes sense. But there are other products within the range and they are finally back available within the UK. So go and check them out. Now, if I get one more person asking me to review the new Lecura range that looks like this. Now, Lecura is Aldi's own brand range and it's sort of famous for doing dupes. Let's be honest here, it is. They go to the factories where some really big names are made and they ask them to do high street versions. Let's put it like that. So this is the Lecura range and it, it would be what I would call the sort of drunk elephant dupe range. That's what most people are saying it is, but I'm not really sure if it is that similar to be honest. There are five products within the range. There's a vitamin C serum, an exfoliating glycolic treatment, an intensive eye treatment, a multi-peptide moisturizer, and a jelly cleanser. There are two standout products for me. That is the jelly cleanser. I really love this jelly cleanser. It's really nice. It's got marula oil, glycerin, and watermelon extracts in it. And it's that absolutely archetypical, mildly foaming, super thick jelly that rinses away to a milk and comes away and is lovely. It's really, really, really nice. And then the reason that people are talking about this being a drunk elephant dupe range is because of the peptide moisturizer. And if you look at the peptide moisturizer, you can sort of see why they think it's a, a dupe for drunk elephant, especially when you, I do this. Now, what's interesting about this is this is actually a gel moisturizer. And actually, if you know anything about drunk elephant, you'll know that the original product was a thicker cream. So yes, the packaging is slightly similar. Is it a dupe? Not really. It's not, I'm sorry, but it's not. Also, everything is sort of lightly fragranced. Drunk Elephant would never be fragranced. And I think the interesting ones to look out for are the Vitamin C Serum, which has a 15% Vitamin C Ferulic Acid um, complex, which is brilliant, except that they've then put enzymes in it as well. And that worries me because Vitamin C and that strength is already strong enough. And look, let's have a look, there you go. Does that look familiar to you? And you twist it. Now, vitamin C is already powerful. I mean, it does look like a typical vitamin C serum, but again, it doesn't feel anything like the Drunk Elephant one. The Drunk Elephant one feels and is pretty much a dupe. So why shouldn't you dupe Drunk Elephant for C Ferulic? Well, this doesn't feel like that. It smells like that. You can smell the vitamin C, you can smell the Ferulic. This is more of an oil base. That's nothing like the solvent base. So 
Go and have a look, check them out, but don't think that they are dupes. I think they've gone for the packaging. I think they've gone for some of the concepts. Actually, they're quite dissimilar in terms of texture. So the vitamin C is actually more of an oil. The multipeptide moisturizer is more of a gel, but they're really reasonably priced. Go and have a look at them, not thinking that they're dupes of Drunk Elephant, but that they're worth looking for in their own right. Because the thing about Liqueur is, it's really reasonably priced. It is so reasonably priced. And if you're on a budget and if you've got an Aldi close to you, go and check them out. So they are my take on everything that's new and exciting on the high street. Go and check out Nipfab, it's had a makeover, I love it. But also go and check out the Retinol range. If you want to go online and use the code Nadine10, you'll get 10% off the entire range. Go and have a look at Bloom and Halo, a really interesting UK stroke Korean brand that is disrupting the way we apply actives to our skin. I really like it, I think it's really clever. I think it's just fun as well, I really do. If you want to do a little at-home facial, if you've ever wanted to be a facialist, but I've never done the training, it's kind of fun. Go and have a look at Rock, because I always think the cult classics that come back to the UK are interesting. And if you're on a budget, obviously go to Aldi and check out the Liqueur range, but don't expect it to be a dupe for Drunk Elephant, because it's not. Look at it afresh as a range that's worth investing in in its own right. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I should put all the details of all the products down below.